Roll. And speeds. Um, scene one, take one. Mark. Oh, am I going? Uh, yeah, ready. Hey everyone, it's Asia Dang. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Now today, we have a very special guest. Basically the love of my life. And no, I'm not talking about my boyfriend. It is Jonathan Van Ness! Oh my Fair gosh, oh my Fair gosh, oh my gosh. We missed it. I miss you all the Fair time. Uh, oh, oh my god. And then here. It's me. Thank you for joining me on our channel. Thank you for having me on your channel. So we're going to be talking about clean beauty, yes? Like yes. Makeup, hair, yes. skincare. For me, clean beauty is like, you know, really important, but there's so much information out there that you don't know who to trust, where to go. So I'm really excited. I think people think it's kind of scary to jump into clean beauty, but it's really not. And especially when you have a resource like the Clean Academy where you can go and learn from learn anything from like labels, ingredients, sustainability. It makes it so easy. But also I think really like what makes it scary is it's not really that clean beauty is scary i think changing anything is scary oh yes and the way that we are seen and the way that we interact with our makeup obviously it's like how people like perceive us it's like the first impression we make so i think you know mm -hmm. taking that risk of like switching something up or changing something or trying something new i think can be intimidating but honey it doesn't have to be because your glands will thank you my skin has just never looked better since i started learning about ingredients and really caring about like what i put on my body and what yeah. i put in it and around it really helps so you're making the transition right now or you're fully in i already kind of did it <gasps> yeah how long did it take you well i think i've always been inspired by ingredients and wanting to know that the energy that's in the products that i'm using is coming from a sustainable fair trade um you know ethical place but i mm -hmm. also like love when it works mm -hmm. um and that has been like a tricky thing so i think really the things that were like the last and the hardest thing for me to really transition out of was like um like super toxic deodorant and super toxic like body washes oh. um and you know once i learned about ingredients and once i learned like kind of what some of their associations were it was really easy for me to let go of them in my skincare yeah um and also like not to like this is this, this part what i'm about to say isn't even a part of this or even paid content but honey um <laughs> when i really did discover biosense that was right when i really started getting into like what my daily skincare routine was going to be because i was like oh my gosh like i'm approaching to be a gorgeous 30 year old and now i'm 32 but like back then, 32 yay but when i started i was like i was trying to figure out like what my daily kind of like they called it um at the Aveda institute where i went to uh the hair school they called it the your essential face it's like what was like my essential face I kind of that. routine okay and that's when i was like let me get an eye cream let me get a face cream let me get a mist let me get a serum um let me get a facial oil and that's when i kind of started to discover biosounds anyway because of their squalene micronutrient mist which is like what first got me into them mm -hmm. Uh, Shall we get started? Yes, I'm gonna I want to see your essential face. I know, we are going to do my essential face, clean products. You guys know I only do like five minute makeup. Like I can't be bothered after that. So let's go into it. Okay. I'm excited to share with you what I have and some tips and tricks. Me too, I want to know everything. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. And then you can like, uh, just like pull it apart. Oh, wow, well, you made my hair look so thick. Right? How? Uh, the pullage? And then you can just go like, oh my god, she just doesn't even care. She's like so like easy going. I'm like a beach, oh I'm a god. beach like princess now. Yes. Oh wait, oh, no, it's, it's gone. No, okay. we had to get rid of it. Oh, okay. Continuity, isn't that a thing on YouTube or something? <laughs> not on my channel. <laughs> it's not, I love that. <laughs> so skincare, obviously very important. Skincare and natural beauty are things that I'm just all about, right? I don't put on foundation. RMS is something that I actually love. My followers actually, actually recommended RMS concealer. Mm. So concealer uh -huh. on the hand and then to <gasps> kind of give me a, like a nice A BB cream smudge. sort of, so, oh my God. Mm -hmm. A smudge of your eye cream, eye gel, biosance, and then you mix it up. I love it. Right? I call that like I, I call that making little baby lakes because I make little lakes on my hand, mixed like little mixtures. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What lakes do you make? I do like a little bit. Well, I do the Omega Plus. Rep okay, so well, I do the serum first, then I do my eye cream, then after yes. that I mix a little like right here of my the Squalene Plus Omega Repair Cream. Mm. Then I do um, don't tell my mommies and daddies over it um, Biosense, but then I do a little. Pop of my little alginist uh, blurring, like perfecting uh, BB cream Ooh, stuff. Okay. And then, yes, I take 
Okay, now as I'm realizing that I've transitioned to non-toxic beauty, now I'm realizing that maybe some of the things I still do maybe <laughs> is not, I It's do a still, process. Yeah, it's a I'm process. I'm not exactly sure right? about Cover FX concealer now that I think about it. Um, cause I do put a little dot of that in my, like, but we can edit that out if it's like, you know, I'm just being honest. Like I'm just an honest hey, person. Hey, we're all about honesty on we the channel. We have to be honest. Yeah. It's a transition. Like it's you transition. can't all just do it all at once. You transition and as you find products that you're able to switch out, then you switch Maybe out. Maybe I should switch to RMS for my gorgeous concealer to make it my leg. Yes. Oh my, RMS, I've actually been using it for years. I really need to look up cover effects on my EWG app and just like see right now. I mean, look it up now. Oh my God, where's my fucking where's phone? Where's your phone? I need my phone. Uh. Where is Jonathan's phone, Don't people? Don't ask Tommy Hello, come on. Come on. Please, uh, Let's get on it. Do I look like someone who just sits around without their fucking phone? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, so while you're looking up cover effects, I did- I'm really fingering, crossing my fingers right now. Okay, yeah. I did uh, kind of just under eyes in a triangle shape. And then I did my redness is under my nose. Okay, I did it there too. And then I have like some issues on my chin right now, so I'm just gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I love that you put a little baby bit of eye gel on your baby chin. You know who else does like bases their whole face in eye cream? I heard. Who? Jayla. Beyonce's a makeup artist. <laughs> I was gonna say. Beyonce. Does her whole, so sometimes when I'm feeling really Beyonce-ish and really just like fuck it with my checkbook, I'll just base my whole face in the marine algae eye cream because mm -hmm. I'm like I'm luxurious. I'm just gonna smear it everywhere. And do you ever not feel like Beyonce though? Honestly. Yeah. You do? You have moments? Yeah. No, but not no. when I have marine algae eye cream all over my face. There we go. So you know my first introduction to Biosalts? Was. You was... were minding your own business at this stage. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, squalene. Because I didn't know that squalene came from, from shark. shark liver. And olives sometimes. Yeah, olives too. So I'm like, oh my god. I didn't know this. And then I tried out the oils because that's my thing. And I just love it. So I actually use Biosalts oil morning and night. True story. Wow, you're really slaying your application game right now. It's so hard. Am I? Can't even, yeah, it's really hard. I'm like honestly the worst, but people are still here for it. So, anyways, what are your thoughts on a multi stick? I love. I love multi sticks. This is what makes my makeup routine five minutes. They have. Oh, they are. Yes, and they're cream concealer. It's a two, it's green. Ew, me. Okay, sorry, I need to spice. I love my cream. Me too. I need some too. I'm feeling dehydrated. Okay. Mm. Good? Yes. So I had my makeup done by this one makeup artist and she spritzed me literally after every application and I could have died. Like my skin felt so soft. It was amazing. I do. Uh, not to like be too like hashtag sponsor, but here's the other thing. Mm. When I have other people do my makeup and I'm trying to like bite my tongue and like not and act like I don't hate it. Cause that happens when I was with makeup <laughs> yeah. artists, you know, and you just don't want to be that person who's like, I really don't like it. What I'll do is I'll just pop to the banyo. I'll take some of my micronutrient squalene mist and I'll spray it over my face because the squalene in that will kind of help whatever makeup is sitting atop my face and not like blending into it the way I want. Yeah. And it makes it like absorb yep. better into my yep. skin, which I also really like. And just about the applic applicator, the mist is just like so fine and like luxurious. Cause sometimes you get the mist that were just like a clump. Yeah, major clump. Like, major clump. Yes, but totally. This is perfect. Okay. Like you just took off my makeup right there. Multi stick. What are your favorites? Do you know? Do you have any? Okay, well, I use a Cover FX green stick, which I love. Okay. Um, and now that you're saying multi stick, now I feel like maybe I don't know what one is. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. What do you think a multi stick is? Well, is it kind of like the, it's like the thing I can use a lot for? Is it like is it like cream blush that can also be make a lip and yes, an eye? Yes. Okay. No, I, okay. Then I know what it is. Okay. Yeah, perfect. I love those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I, I fucking have a love lot. cream blush and I love cream eyeshadow. So I actually live in creams. I don't really use powders. Do powder, fuck powder. No, it just makes me for like, personally, I feel like it makes me look younger and healthier and hydrated. My, I don't know, my opinion, but. I love all those anyways. words. So I have Bite Beauty, which is one of my I favorites. Love. They were my first introductory to a multi stick. They make the sugar scrub too, like the, is, that, is that the same as like the BT? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love them, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. They have a great agave lip. And then we have uh, Tata Harper. This is I actually- I love Tata Harper, as oh, Tan would say, Tata Harper. This is actually a lip and cheek tint, but I throw it on my eye sometimes. I and then Tan was about that. Ilya, love. do we know her? I this is kind of like an orange color. So why don't you tell me which direction? So the Bite Beauty multi six tends well, to be matte. I think you matte. should use this because this is reminding me of Yevgenia Medvedeva's lip color and her new um, long skate, which is like for this season of figure skating. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, we'll do this. This is cheek to cheek. And this is actually the one I use all the time. Can you put it on your lip too or no? Oh, I do it everywhere. Oh yeah. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, okay ready? So we'll just go bloop, bloop, bloop. Take your um, fingers and put it on the eyes. 
I'm gonna clear that oh, out. Oh yeah, the like reckless abandon that you're approaching this with, I'm obsessed with. I put more time washing my hair today for you than I am gonna put on my makeup, so. Oh my god, you wash it today? Yes! And look at your lack of frizz, you're doing amazing. Really? Thank you. Wow! Can we see? I know it's like, can we tell in the camera? Yes! Yes? Well, I can tell in front of my face. <laughs> so here's the thing, it's like... I feel like you could do more on your lip, to be honest. Well, I'm actually gonna transition. To what? But I wanted to show you that you could do it on your lips. And I kind of like this like orangey. I love that orangey corally moment. That's what Yefenia yeah. is doing on her long skin. Yes. And my thing about beauty is like when someone says, wow, your skin is so great. I can't believe you're not wearing makeup, but I am wearing makeup. That's like a compliment to me. <gasps> Oh, I you love know? that. Yeah, I like well, cause I like to see like, my little baby freckles through my little baby skin still. Yeah. Like, so, I like my skin. Yeah, that's why we don't wear foundation or wear too heavy product. So there's that. Wow. And then highlight. Um, Ritual Defeat. Never heard. So it's broken. This is how much I use it, right? So look at how pretty it is. It's kind of like a beautiful, like, multicolor goddess. Ah. Uh. So I just do a little because honestly, when um, your skin is hydrated and stuff, you don't need too much highlighter. Like I don't want to see my highlighter from space. I like it to be very natural. And then this I feel like is like <gasps> the biggest difference. You do this, no? No. Well, I guess you don't need to. <laughs> it would be like stash. all your stash. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the corner. That kind of serves me like Queen Amidala from that one Star Wars movie when we just like put like a little bit like yes. right here. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, and then what are we gonna do next is spritz. Sink it in, pat it in, mm -hmm. yes. So, um, honestly that's it, but I feel like I'm gonna do a little bit more. Do it later. I'm gonna it. give you options. Okay. So, if I want to be like impressive, I'll throw in a powder. So we have a bronzer from Lily Lolo, oh. really pretty. And then we have blush from Bird's, uh, Bird's Bees. Oh, I really I like a like bright like cheek. We'll just do this. Do it. Oh my God. Because it just makes you look more youth youthful, you know? All right. And then if you want to do, I actually don't do mascara. Could you be like more fucking gorgeous if we tried? Like what is going on? And it's all using clean beauty and in like five minutes. This is outrageous. Last thing, I just love this like lip color. Oh, I love that lip color. And then it's just really easy. And it adds like a little bit more color. But if you wanted, complete the look with like a, what is this called? Eye pencil or like mascara, but I don't normally do that because the girl got lash extensions. So we Which don't need Which are really pretty, to. they're really pretty. What are those, the big tubes? Okay, so on days where I want to do uh, foundation. This is Juice Beauty and it's a CC cream. So I mix them. It's SPF 30. I mix them together and then you can also put your um, it in. Yeah, squalene oil into it and then mix it up and it just gives you this like beautiful glow. This is it. What do we think? Easy. Without us chatting, it would have really taken me five minutes. It didn't take you that much longer than five minutes, but it did talk a lot. No, I loved it. What's that salt spray stuff? Oh, okay, so we were talking about here, this is dry shampoo, which is actually really hard to find like clean products that are good. Let's be honest, hair products at least. It's true. Mm. So this is a powder. I don't know if you can see. Ooh. And then you just, I don't need it because I wash my hair for you. you so, do. I love but it. This I'm just one's curious. Really good. Yeah. Any other questions you have? No. Oh, do you want a chest stick? Mango kiss? I already have on my gorgeous vegan rose lip balm by Biosense. It is oh, okay. full of gorgeous um, cer um, ceramides. Yeah, that's how I say it. <laughs> okay. But no, my shit's really like balanced and moisturized because of my gorgeous rose vegan lip balm. I love it. Yeah. Perfect. It also has a lot of hyaluronic acid and it's kind of a multi-purpose stick too because I use it on my eyebrows. <gasps> Wait, an eyebrow to gel. tame? Yeah, as an eyebrow gel. Ooh. And I also use it as a beard gel. Beard. Um, grooming like I lotion love sometimes that. too. P.S. Hyaluronic acid is it's my everything. She says she says, "Hey, moisture, coming in for a party. Did yeah. you know that you're invited?" Yes. I love that moment so much. All I want to do is watch you do makeup applications for the rest of my life. It's honestly the same thing <laughs> over and over. But you did different again. colors, and it's kind of Harper. I didn't know. There. So that is our, I guess, chit chat. Get ready yes. with me. Clean beauty. Five minutes. Feel free to massage the head just a little bit more. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. 
If you want to learn more about clean beauty, um, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section. And um, head over to uh, the Biosense YouTube channel because they will be posting more Clean Academy videos for you guys to learn basically everything, right? Clean Academy Queen, it's all there and it's so much fun. So come on over and take a look. Yes, Thanks and wait, wait, wait. And what they'll do is that they'll kind of scour our comment sections and tailor videos to your questions. So when we say, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section. Do that, because we want to help you out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Queen. Oh my God, and thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.